How do I derive Kc from a chemical equation? Well, we're going to use the equilibrium law, and that will give us the equilibrium expression, Kc. Capital K uh, means equilibrium constant, and the C means chemical. Confused already? Well, this bit's easy. Take the products of your equilibrium and raise them to the power of their coefficients and put them at the top of this fraction. And then at the bottom, take your reactants and raise them to the power of their coefficients. Multiply, don't add. And that is the equilibrium expression, Kc. Now the concentrations that you need to put into these equilibrium expressions, you know, the molarities, the moles per decimeters cubed, you have to use the equilibrium concentrations, otherwise it won't work. But that makes sense. It is, after all, the equilibrium expression. So use the equilibrium concentrations. Square brackets means concentration. And so if Kc is a constant, you can see that if you add chemicals or remove chemicals, everything's going to adjust itself. The chemicals are going to move around to keep Kc constant. And that was a huge discovery way back when. Let's try another one. So capital K, small c, at the top, you put the products and raise them to the coefficient. And at the bottom of the fraction, put the reactants and raise them to their coefficients. Now, we could ask you to do that backwards as well, I suppose. Now, for the IB, we're only going to be using homogeneous equilibria. So that means that the state symbols are the same all the way through for the reactants and products. So we wouldn't ask you to do the top one. The state symbols are different. But at the bottom, yeah, we could do that one. Small exception. Uh, it doesn't matter the state of the catalyst. Uh, but I don't remember them asking that. Okay, try these ones out. And we're done. A quick comparison, Kc. Well, you can find that from the chemical equation, but the rate constant, lowercase k, that can only be found from the mechanism of the chemical reaction. You can't get it from the equation. Kc may be unitless, but K, the rate constant, is never unitless. And they're not constant in the sense that they change with temperature. That will change the values of both of them. If you change the equation coefficients, that will change them. And if you just change the reaction for another one, I don't know, making concrete, it will just be a different value of Kc.